Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sa'i between Safa and Marwa or going to and fro for seven times between the hills of Safa and Marwa during Hajj. We all know the story that after Abraham left his wife Hajar and her baby Ismail in the desert, as commanded by Allah, of course, they ran out of water and food and she saw two hills. So she left her baby and she started going up those hills to look around for water. And on the way between them, close to the Safa hill, the land was too low, so she couldn't see her baby and she had to run in this area until he became back on site. Um, then the water gushed under the feet of the baby. She didn't really uh, find water when she went up those hills. This ritual, even though it may look funny for non-Muslims, uh, because they say, what kind of worship is that that makes people walk between two hills? This uh, ritual is loaded with meanings. Maybe if Hajar was alone, she wouldn't have walked between those two hills and climbed them seven times. Maybe she could have just waited until some travelers find her or uh, waited to die in her place. But because her, uh, her son was with her, she did all of that tirelessly, never lost hope. As Muslims, we know that only a denier who denies God loses hope. But as long as there is God, then there is hope. When your mom upsets you, before you speak to her, remember that the love in her heart for you is unimaginable. The other meaning is that God sends water from the sky and make the wheat grow from the earth, but he is not going to bake your bread. You have to do effort. She had to run between the two hills, then water gushed under the feet of the baby. Lady Maryam, Lady Mary, the mother of Jesus, was told to shake the trunk of the palm tree. Ten able-bodied men could not shake a palm tree. So what about a weak woman who has just gone through labor? She still had to make the effort, even if it was symbolic. The dates were not going to come like that. The water was not going to gush under the feet of Ismail like that. And the money is not going to come like that. You have to do effort, then blessings come generously from Allah. Remember, after watching this video, if your mother is alive, go kiss her hand and tell her I love you. And if she's dead, make dua for her and spend charity on her behalf. Assalamu alaikum. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Allahu Akbar, Allah.